Summer can be a great opportunity to either start or maintain healthy habits with your kids. I'm Quinn Lund, Clinical Dietitian at Salina Regional Health Center. Quinn, thank you so much for coming on the show. Summertime has arrived. That means kids have a little bit more time on their hand, a little bit more video games and watching uh, videos on their, their phones. It also means a little bit more snacking at times. What can we as parents and parents out there do to combat that? Well, first of all, it's important to maintain a meal and snack schedule. So try to make sure your kids are eating meals every four to five hours and then have a snack maybe between each meal, but allow one to two hours between each snack and the next meal. That's to combat not just overeating, but also hunger because some kids just forget to eat. I think it's also important to talk about hydration as well. You know, how much, how much water should, should a child drink in a day? So a kid that's aged four to eight should drink about two quarts of water per day. And then once you get up to the teenage years, uh, the boys should drink about 3.5 quarts and the girls should drink about 2.4. But obviously that's very individualized based on their size and their activity level and how much they sweat. Uh, it's also important on a hot day if they're playing a lot to look out for signs and symptoms of dehydration, like maybe fatigue, fast heart rate, uh, some dry cracked lips or maybe a headache. I know as well we're going to have vacations and raising kids from activity, activity to activity that can also be in fast food. Why don't you share a little bit about what to do for regarding fast foods? Well, I'd say the best type of fast food is not eating fast food. Okay. Definitely try to prepare ahead of time, but obviously some instances that just doesn't occur, you know, you're, you're really busy and you, you just drop the ball. So maybe try to stick to a lower meal, lower calorie meal option there, like maybe a chicken sandwich instead of a hamburger, just cut the calories down a little bit. Okay, let's talk about food options to keep around the house. Yeah, so it's really helpful to have prepackaged, prepared foods at home, maybe string cheeses, yogurts, or hummus, or hard boiled eggs that the kids can grab along with some fruits and vegetables for a well balanced snack. Or if they really like trail mix or maybe mixed nuts, pairing that with some uh, low sugar cereal or maybe some popcorn, kind of to balance it out a little bit more because trail mix is really healthy for us, but also pretty dense in calories, and we don't want them mindlessly snacking on high calorie foods. If you're at home and you have time, you can make some homemade popsicles or smoothies, or maybe put a banana and peanut butter in a whole wheat tortilla, wrap it up and cut it up into little pieces of sushi. Thank you so much for some great information. And thank you for watching. For more information, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.